wholeheartedly I give my life, Lord, to you. In everything I say and live and do. May my life be a reflection of Jesus and His direction. Wholeheartedly I give my life. Wholeheartedly to you. Hello and welcome to Wholeheartedly, Bible Music Publications. My name is Hannah Yao and I'm so glad that you're here today and so glad that you are taking time to put a little piece of God's Word in your heart and it is such an encouragement. I love being able to come and share scripture with you. It's a joy to me to be able to do that and it encourages my heart that, that you come each week and that we get to do this together. And I, before wholeheartedly, I would tell my husband what I was getting out of my Bible or call my mom and share something that was encouraging to me in scripture. And um, I would write scripture songs, but um, it's encouraging to my heart to be able to have wholeheartedly be able to share something, a thought uh, about the scripture or to share a scripture song with each of you and um, and that you are able to um, use it if if it's a blessing to you and and um, you know the Bible tells us that we're supposed to exhort one another in the faith and that means that we're supposed to um, cheer on one another and we're supposed to um, be uh, an encourager of one another in the faith and so I hope that wholeheartedly does that in your life. I hope that it is a lifter of your faith. I hope that it exhorts your faith. And so um, I, I hope that um, that if you receive encouragement from myself through wholeheartedly, that you that you don't just keep it in. I hope that you pass it on. I hope that 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 it's just a tool, an avenue that that. Um, that is in your arsenal of faith that you say I'm going to I'm going to keep this and and I'm going to use it to lift my my spirit and and allow the Lord to to use it in my life to draw me closer to him and then I also want to use it if if the Holy Spirit puts someone in my mind and on my heart that maybe they need a little bit of encouragement that that I will say, you know what, I heard this song the other day um, or I heard this verse that, man, that was encouragement to my heart. And you know what, I think that might be encouragement to them too. And that you will exhort a brother or sister in Christ, a coworker, a friend, and that you will pass something along that maybe you've heard. And um, so I hope that wholeheartedly will be um, a a tool in your in your um, in your faith, and um, and you know the you know we don't always have the right words to say when someone when someone's going through something, and but you know the Holy Spirit He does. And that's exactly what scripture is. He is that the Bible is the living word. And so if if we use a scripture song or we use a, a Bible verse to encourage a brother or sister or friend and um, and we say, you know, I was listening to this or or this what encouraged my heart and we pass that along, then then that is the best encouragement we can give somebody. And so then that is that is when we were like, I just didn't know the right words. I'm, I'm not the best at that. I'm definitely not the best at that. When someone is needing a, 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 um, a good word of encouragement and, and, I'm, and I'm sitting there praying in my heart, Lord, what is the right thing to say right now? And the, the best thing I can do is, is look for that, that, that right verse that falls in line with what they're needing. And so that is the thing I'm praying the most, Lord, what is the right verse right now that would be the, the blessing to their heart? Because I certainly do not have the words. Um, I'm not good at that. So um, anyway, that uh, hopefully something in wholeheartedly can be a blessing in that way. And so anyway, 
Um, so this year, something I wanted to share with you, if you, if you did um, watch Wholeheartedly last week, you noticed it was a little bit different, and a lot of bit different actually, but um, we are going to go into a different phase with Wholeheartedly this year, and I'm excited about it, but um, we are going to still do the Bible lessons, but we're also going to... Um, going to do more of the scripture songs where there are there is more time to listen to the scripture song over and over um, so that you can become more familiar with it and then with some some pretty scenes to maybe me meditate on the, the scripture while you're listening to it and um, and then sometimes you can just leave it playing and not even look at it, just listen, um, so that it can become, you know, a lot of times we're multitasking, so sometimes you can just listen to it while you're doing other things, but anyway, um, but if you could, um, if you listen to it again and again, a lot of times it's, it's easy to become more familiar with it enough that it becomes a part of your heart instead of just your mind. We noticed when we did it with little ones that um, if you just if you just did it over and over again, but you didn't do it long enough, it became here. But then it didn't become here. And a lot of times, if it just sticks up here, our minds fail us, and our minds they slip. Uh, mind slips all the time, and um, more and more every day. And so, um, if we listen to it enough, and um, if you see it, hear it, say it, that, that's the best way to learn scripture. But if the more avenues that you can do things to memorize, that's the best way to do it. But, um, but anyway, if the more chances you have to uh, listen to it, then, then the more chance you'll have to hide it in your heart. So anyway, I hope that it will be more, um, helpful to be able to, um, hide it in your heart. And so I'm hopeful that this uh, new phase of Wholeheartedly this year will be a blessing to you and encouragement to you. And um, we will still do the lessons. They will just not be every single week. But I do hope that when the lessons come that you will take the time to listen and that that even though that they will be a little longer than the, than the scripture songs, that there will be something in them that that the Holy Spirit will use to um, to encourage your heart and strengthen you throughout your walk through the week. That is um, our desire and the reason why wholeheartedly was started was so that that um, the scripture would be um, brought to believers and um, and we would each um, be uh, lifted throughout the week. Um, and so um, the Bible says in Philippians 3 and verse 14, it says, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And this is kind of the, the theme for wholeheartedly this year is, you know, that each of us would press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. And, you know, to me that that mark is twofold. The mark could be Jesus Christ himself. He's, he's the one that, he is our mark. He is the one that we press towards and, 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 and we, he's the bullseye. He is the one that we seek to be like, be becoming like each and every day. He is the author and finisher of our faith. He is the one that, if we're Christians, he is the one that we are little Christ and we are the ones that are trying to become more and more like him each and every day. There's a song that, that um, there was a trio that when my husband was assistant pastor at the church we came from when he was assistant pastor, um, there was a trio that we used to sing a song that was called More of You. And that song, it it speaks how there needs to be less of us and just more of Him. It's more of you, more of you. I've had all, but what I need 
is just more of you of things I've had my fill and yet I hunger still empty and bare Lord hears my prayer for more of you and if that would be our prayer every day to be becoming more and more like him and to be adding more and more of him into our lives then then we'd be a whole lot better off and so it says i press toward the mark i would i i want more of him and i'm pressing toward that mark i'm pressing toward the mark of i want to be more like him and so that to me is twofold i want to, uh, the mark is jesus christ himself and then the second thing that i think that mark is did i please him did i do enough when i get to the end of my life and i stand face to face face to face i shall behold him face to face when will it be when we get to the end of the li our life and we're standing before him and just like the story in the bible when when the master handed out the talents and and there were servants who who multiplied the talents and then there were servants who went and hid the talents and they they sat on them they they didn't do anything with them they they hid them and we can either be that servant of the lord who multiplies it and says lord i want to do all i can with what you've given me i want to multiply it and i want to share more i want to to um i want to share all i can with others of who you are i want to um, show more of what you've done in my life with everybody i want to um i want to to give more i want to um, be all i can be of what you have made me i want to um i want to be everything i can be i want to be my best I don't want to do things half-heartedly. I want to do them wholeheartedly. And so that's that pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. I want to be the best that I can possibly be for you. Not for my own self-gain, but because I represent the King of Kings. And so, and so, um, so I'm not going to hide my talents and that you've given me. I'm going to multiply them because because I want to do all that I can until this race here is done. I've got much to do because our, my time here is limited. I've got I've got just I don't know how much time I have left to serve you. And so Lord, I want to do all I can to to lay as many rewards as I can when I get to your to your throne so that I'll have rewards to lay at your feet so that when I look in your face, you're able to look back and say, well done, thou good and faithful servant. That's the mark that I'm pressing toward. And so, so this year at Wholeheartedly, I pray that when we hear the verse, I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, that we say, I want to press toward the mark of Jesus himself. I, I want to be like him. I want to be every day drawing nearer, 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 precious Lord. I want to draw nearer to you. I don't want to let a day go by that I don't spend time with you. I want to make, I want to enjoy your presence. I want to, to kneel at your feet. I don't want to be so busy that I don't take the time to, to enjoy you, Lord. And, and I want to also press toward the mark of doing all I possibly can to, to be everything that I possibly can and do everything that I possibly can so that when I look in your face that you can look back and say, well done. You did all you could to multiply what I gave you. And, and so 
so when you see wholeheartedly and you and you see the the different things that we're going to do um in this next phase of this year i hope that it will be a blessing i hope that you will be able to use it in your um in your arsenal and your tools of faith that you'll be able to pass it on to somebody and be an encouragement to to your friends and family and that um, it will just continue to to trickle out and that it will be a tool for whoever god sees fit to use it for his glory and so i hope this will be a happy new year for you so now we're going to sing philippians 3 and verse 14 I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. All right, it's your turn. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of god in christ jesus i press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of god in christ jesus all right we'll see you next time i hope the lord uses something that i said today to be a blessing and a help and encouragement to you and that it will draw you closer in your walk with Him. And something that I said has been a blessing to you, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe so that you don't miss any lessons in the future. And I hope to see you back again real soon. May we all be living lives that are wholeheartedly for Him. Wholeheartedly I give my life